Although it is one of the world's most famous monuments, few know that the Taj Mahal is actually a funeral building. It is a mausoleum and one of the major reasons to visit northern India. Built in the city of Agra between 1632 and 1653, this white marble pearl is based on one of the most beautiful love stories. Its construction was ordered by Emperor Shah Jahan, the fifth of the Mughal dynasty. When he was only 16, in 1607, the then called Prince Koram met Arjuman Banu Begum, a girl whose aunt was the wife of Koram's father. The love between them was immediately felt, but the marriage took place only five years later, in 1612. The prince baptized his wife Mumtaz Mahal, the chosen one of the palace, in English. Beautiful and jovial, her personality was also warm and a source of pride for the people. Mumtaz took care of widows and orphans, ensuring their livelihood. Her maternal gift would eventually be fatal. The princess died after the birth of her 14th child, a girl, on June 17, 1631. The desperation and mourning of the now Emperor Shah Jahan, who had reached the top of the hierarchy three years ago, were witnessed by many. The reports of the time state that the widower cried non-stop for eight days, and at the end of that period, his hair turned white. In December 1631, after defeating a military rival, a decision had materialized in his mind to honor his wife. Shah Jahan ordered Mumtaz's body to be exhumed from her grave in Burbanpur and transferred to Agra, 700 kilometers away. This procession was accompanied by thousands of soldiers and ended with the placing of the body on land where the Taj Mahal would be built. Shah Jahan wanted to build the most magnificent mausoleum ever seen. He himself outlined the construction plans with the help of the most important architects of the time. Money was no problem. The Mughal Empire had endless wealth. This made it possible not only to build a grand monument, but also to complete the works in record time. 20,000 workers were gathered who quickly began to structure the foundations of the entire complex. The marble needed for the construction was brought from Makrana, 320 kilometers away, by 1,000 elephants and countless oxen. The Taj Mahal is not only a building, but a complex of several structures. Besides the tomb, there is also a mosque. Islam was the religion of the Mughal Empire, a guest house, four minarets, and several gardens. The level of ornamentation detail is very intricate. There are several passages of the Quran inculcated in black marble, semi-precious stones, details in gold thread. Shah Jahan died in 1666 after more than 30 years as emperor a period that ended with the usurpation of the throne by one of his sons. His body was placed in the crypt below the Taj Mahal. On the main floor of the structure, we can find two cenotaphs, symbolizing the union between Shah Jahan and Mumtaz. Today, and after the lootings perpetrated by the British in the 19th century when they ruled India, the Taj Mahal welcomes 2.5 million visitors per year and was elected in 1983 as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The best option for those who want to get to know the Taj Mahal is to opt for guided tours, which, when booked in advance, allow for shorter waiting times, something very useful especially when temperatures are higher in the hot season in the Northern Hemisphere, May-October. It is also recommended to wear comfortable clothing, especially footwear, which will have to be removed when entering the mosque. No eating or smoking is allowed. Like any busy area with a high number of tourists, it is necessary to be careful with personal belongings. The best time to visit is between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. when there are fewer visitors. If possible, we recommend spending a few hours in the complex to witness how the marble changes its color depending on sunlight. Once a month, it is also possible to visit the Taj Mahal on a full moon night to observe the brightness of this monument under the lunar intensity. The Taj Mahal's importance is not limited only to its architectural splendor or to the idyllic setting it evokes. Its greatest asset is to materialize the duplicity of life, the light of love and the darkness of death, both gathered in an iconic building where tragedy and joy live side by side.